kidnap that alien baby. The trial wasn't publicized, it wasn't on air, like nobody saw it. I, I was I was pronounced innocent, but nobody really saw it. So I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm buying these commercials to just make sure everyone knows I did not kidnap the alien baby. I did not do it. Uh, it was, it was uh, confirmed in the court of alien law. And uh, that's it. So, um, all right. Holy shit, is that, is that some sort of miniature town? Oh, hello there. <laughs> I'm Cutie Hubie, and it's my great pleasure to introduce you to Little Cutie Town. <laughs> We're a nice, peaceful society full of cute little one-inch top. Oh, fantastic! You've decided to take a look around Little Cutie Town. Oh, I'm so excited for you to see everything Little Cutie Town has to offer. Oh my god! Oh no, 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 oh no, you're destroying everything! Oh my God! You're so big. I, I didn't. I didn't realize how big. You... Ah! That was our power plant. Our nuclear power plant. Totally safe, by the way, until you came and triggered a nuclear reaction. It just wiped out an entire neighborhood. Hundreds of happy families dead in an instant. And the radiation will linger for decades, killing anything that tries to grow there. Oh my god, this is, this sucks so much. You're just walking around knocking down buildings. Oh no, 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 no. I hate seeing everyone I love die. Oh no, there goes Cutie Steven. You just stepped on Cutie Steven. You didn't even realize it because you're so big. You just step on my friends and it doesn't even register to you. Oh no, Cutie Steven was my love. Oh no, you just crushed our hospital. We have a state-of-the-art healthcare program here in little Cutie Town where everyone gets treated for free. That hospital was full of sick people in need and now they're all dead. Oh my god, this is, this sucks so much. You're just walking around knocking down buildings. Oh no. Okay, that's it. That's my whole, my whole town. My whole little cutie town's ruined. You've ruined the whole city and all my friends are dead. I'm the only last little cutie alive and I am going to kill myself, I guarantee it. As soon as you walk away, I'm gonna be so depressed I just pop a gun in my own head and I die. I'm just gonna fucking die. How's that sound? No more living for me. I don't wanna be alive. My whole town and home is gone and dead and you did it. It's your fault. I know I invited you in, but you should have realized you're so big. You're gonna ruin things. You should have told me. I didn't think about it. I'm kind of dumb sometimes, but you're you're not as dumb as me, I, I assume. So you should have said, hey, I'm not gonna go in there. I don't want to stomp on shit like a big Godzilla. Not for me. Not, my, not what I want to do with my life. I don't want to go kill everybody. That's what you should have said. Instead, you just did it. You walked in and you knocked over entire buildings. Everyone's dead now. I am, I am so sad. I'm so fucking sad right now. I know that I, I, mostly I'm just yelling, but if you, if you let me just calm down for a second, which I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna calm down right now. I am so fucking sad. I am so fucking depressed now. Do you have a, can, just shoot me. Shoot me with your gun. Go ahead and shoot me so I die, so I don't have to kill myself. Just do me that favor. Just take me out of my misery. I don't want to be, I don't want to be alive if everyone else I know is dead. This is survivor's guilt. You ever hear that when somebody goes to fight in a war and all the friends die and then they come back, they're like, why me? Why did I live? I, I, I should have died. Why me instead of them? Well, guess what, pal? That's what I'm feeling right now. And I don't have the money to spend on any more therapy. So just pop, pop me in the head. Go ahead. Just squish my head like a grape with your gun. Please, just pop, pop me. Come on. Oh, whoa, Jesus. I wasn't sure if you were going to actually kill him. Poor guy. You know, maybe it was the right thing to do. Whoa, 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 hey, tough whoa, guy. Whoa, whoa. Hey, 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 look, walk away if you hey, want. This is a fucking, fucking Mac and Cheese Brothers us. construction site. We ain't done here. But you got to be careful. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. Hey, calm down. What the hell? 
how do you want to handle this? Maybe we just, you know, move past Are you kidding them. me? You think you could just walk up into a Mac and Cheese Brothers construction site like you're some sort of fucking Jesus Christ and just fucking walk around like you own the place? There's a goddamn bottomless pit over here, asshole. You think you could survive that? Falling through a fucking bottomless pit down to the bottom? I don't think so. We got work to do. Okay, dipshit. Hey, what get the, the hell fuck you out doing? of here, asshole. Hey, I can't hey, believe hey, this. What, what, holy what, shit, what, those guys are on you know, shit. You could have killed them, right? Hey, I would have been hey, fine hey. with that, I think. Hey, what, what the hell are you doing? You jack off. Hey, what are we here? Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me here. Hey, what the hell are you doing? You're a sick character. Hey, hey, fuck. Well, great. You killed all the weird construction guys. You know, we're free to move along now like we were before we killed them. Hey, sorry. Us mac and cheese brothers, you know, we can be a little hot-headed. You know, it's fine if you kill any of them, you know? We're all really loud and annoying, so I get it. You know, our family has a lot of brothers, so... Yeah, you know, it's no real big loss. It's fine. Oof, you just shifted into the gray zone, or the dark, whatever, the evil zone. Hey, you whippersnappers looking to get into Old Town? Hey, we should talk to this guy. I calls him like I sees him. He, he seems... Howdy there, partner. Welcome to Old Town. They call me Old Wet Grundy. How can I help you? So, uh, why do they call you Old Wet Grundy? It's cause I'm old, and I piss myself every day. I'm doing it right now. You're, you're pissing yourself while you're talking to us? Oh, yeah. Big time. It's still going. Ooh, this is a good one. Hey, do you happen to know where we can find a, 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 a guy named Douglas? Douglas? The, 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 the G3 fella? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we. He's a rough one. Never seen somebody drink as much as him. Why, just last night, uh, nobody. I shouldn't speak out of turn. The G3 don't like that none, and I don't like them. Just head down to Dread Town. I'm sure you'll find them. And how do we get to Dread Town? It's, it's, it's been a little bit for me. Oh, that's easy. You just go through this gate, pop into Old Town, and shoot straight down the main strip. You can't miss the big Dreg Town entrance. It's a real goddamn eyesore. Wish they'd get rid of it. I'll open the gate for you. Oh, well, thanks, Grundy. That's old way, Grundy. And of course, opening the gate's my whole job. It's why I'm here. I'm happy to do it for some charm and young women snubbers like you. Drag Town's past here. I just stand around and tell people that. What's up there, dog? We're looking for Douglas. What, like G3 Douglas? Uh, yeah, it's his job to be down there. I heard he was partying pretty hard last night, though. Hey, I, I can't let anyone in right now. There's too many recruits causing trouble in town. I get in trouble when that happens, so I'm gonna keep the gate locked until they stop. Or get killed. Wink, wink. Are you telling us to kill them? Whoa, I didn't say that. I just said wink, wink, and okay, yeah, that's what I meant. So go kill him, and, and I'll let you through. Well, partner, I reckon we really cleaned this town up. You did it! The town's all cleaned up! I keep tab to I don't know how many times I've told the recruits not to cause trouble out there or if someone's gonna kill them. You told us to kill Tomatoes, them! Tomatoes, potatoes! I'm just a dumb gate guard! Whatever, head on through. The G3 really spruced up Dregtown. You can get anything you want down there. Drugs? Sure. Sex? Yep. Those are the only two things I could think of. Oh wait, laptops. You can get laptops, I bet. Drugs, sex, and laptops. That's drag town, baby. This zone is part of the Mothers Against Violence Treaty, so no violence allowed here. Take care. Mothers Against Stop Violence. Stop if you need Oof, something. Well, that falls in our favor, huh? We don't, we're not gonna have to worry about any trouble in this area. Stop on by for items! Out there, kids. Wow, so this is what a G3 run city looks like. Anyway, yeah, I'm excited to join the G3, but I'm gonna miss my wife and six kids. Oh yeah, I had mine killed before I left so I wouldn't feel bad. Wow, that's so smart. I'll do that too. I'm gonna kill my wife and kids so I don't miss them. Hello there, my child. I'm from a sweet little organization called Mothers for Violence, and you're about to enter a sector under our jurisdiction. That's right. 
There's mothers against violence, and then there's us, mothers for violence. We're a little different. We love violence, and we want more of it everywhere. Us mothers may disagree from time to time, but there's one thing we all have in common. We're all mothers. Hey you, check this out. I got some goop here. You're gonna love it. You can use it to sneak in. Come over here. How old are you? Hey, hey there. Thanks for coming over here. I'm the goop guy around these parts. You wanna sneak in the G3 facilities? You gotta get covered in goop. That's just how it goes. My stuff's quality. So you, you want some goop, right? Uh, you know what? Yes. How about how about a big fat yes? Let's go. Perfect. Head down the alley there and just uh let the magic happen. I guess. Uh, don't don't worry. First goop's on me. Just tell all your buddies about it. I'm the goop guy. I do goop stuff. Oof. Oh my god. Oh gee. Oh my god. Not not what I was thinking it would be. Fucking so oh my god the smell oh my god i'm gonna fucking throw up okay okay i'm all right okay oh my god Th this better fucking hey work. look at you you're all gooped up i gotta be honest it won't last long it's not the real stuff so you better be quick get in get out don't stay in there too long don't lollygag because this stuff's gonna fall off that's the goop guy promise that's the guarantee you're 18 right by the way okay thank you let's just go let's just go G3 cartel. Oh, looky here. We got another gooped up G3 recruit. Be advised that the G3 cartel is not responsible for any life-threatening injuries you may incur on these premises. But even if we were, we wouldn't give a shit. Who cares? I hope you get shot. Good luck. Hey, I appreciate that. Seriously. Oh, sick. We get to watch a movie. Shut the fuck up. It's starting. You might not be cut out for this. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm sure you already know who I am, but for anyone living under a rock, I'm Douglas, G3 Chief of Training and Torture. And wouldn't you know it, I like to blur those lines a little. Training, torture, what's the difference, I say? I look to your left, now look to your right. Both of those people are gonna die today. You are about to jump right into an accurate work-based simulation of what it'll look like to be on the real battlefield. And let me tell you, you're probably gonna die. But hey, if you don't, you get to join the G3. Big whoop. All right, that's it. Lock and load, fuckers. All right. Whoa, sure whoa, enough. you see that? Looks like Douglas has a Gatling in. We should probably rescue her. Okay, put your G3 face on. This will be a... Okay, it's time to pop off. Okay. That was nothing. Good work, buddy. I guess we're all done. Oh, okay. You beat all the weak guys. Easy. Really easy. Now go do the obstacle course. Oh, okay. Well, I guess it's apparently harder than it looks. Whew, fucking get that fucking jump. God damn. That was a little that, that we we made it. That was a little tough shit. though. So you made it past the first training exercise. Big deal. That one was easy. We lied and said it was hard to scare you. Oh, it's fun to freak you out, to fuck with your heads. Now get ready for exercise two. It starts in one hour. That's right, you have to wait a full hour. We're testing your resolve. So just stand there patiently and wait. Then this door will open and you can continue. Uh, okay, there's no way we're waiting a full hour. 